1025 The Game. Super Bowl 46 coverage continues from Radio Row in Indianapolis and joined by another non-football star, but it'll be fun nonetheless. None Football other fan. than <laughs> Vanilla Ice is hey. in the house. So right. I can call you Rob, but everybody knows he has Vanilla Ice. Right. And uh, you got you, I heard that you actually saw your movie yep. last night for the first time here in Indy. There was a screening. That's right. And the movie is That's My Boy. That's My Boy. And what'd you think? You saw it for the first time in its entirety last night. Hands down, the funniest movie ever made in the history of <laughs> filmmaking. I'm talking, I'm going out there and just calling it like there it is. There you go. It there is, you go. I mean, my face was cracking, my gut was hurting when I was leaving, and I just kept really thinking about all the one-liners in there. Yeah. And it just, you know, it's going to be a part of pop culture forever. Now, it's a, it's an Adam Sandler movie. Absolutely. He he is a comical, creative genius, isn't he? Total it, it's legend. interesting. I mean, he brought you into this movie. Yep. And how he weaves you, and it's your—it's—it's—it's it's, it's kind of like you. I mean, you're—it's yeah. a character, but it is Uncle you Vanny. in right. you. Yeah, yeah, subliminally. Yeah. But uh, it's—you know—it's—I uh, play Uncle Vanny. Adam has sex with his teacher at 13 years old when the movie starts out, and that's the whole theme of the movie: is that you know she goes to prison, and he's left raising this kid. They have a baby together, which is Samberg, <laughs> and uh, you know. He's the worst father in the in history of father making ever. You know, he's like only 13 years older than the than the kid, and uh, <laughs> he. I think in the course of the movie, we counted him last night. I think it was 60 beers he had. 60 beers, man. He's just awesome in the movie, though. He's hilarious. Yeah, what's it like to work with Adam Sandler? Because he's a trip, man. You know what? When I first got the call, okay, I was in England, and uh, him and his wife, Adam and his wife, were actually in the bed watching the Vanilla Ice Project, which is my home renovation yeah, show yeah. on DIY Network. And he, uh, his wife turns around. It was her idea. She says, honey, you should get, and he goes, don't say it, Vanilla Ice in the movie. Yep. So, you know, I, need, I owe her something for sure. Yeah. But uh, no, I, I was like, on the way there, I was like, what's he going to be like? Is he going to yeah. be like Happy Gilmore, you know? Right. <laughs> <laughs> and sure enough, just like him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, get there and, uh, you know, he has his rocking chair in there. His office is a big mess. He's got kids' toys around there. So I felt right at home, you know. Yeah. I got kids and, and it's great, you know. So um, we hit it off right from the, the beginning and uh, the guy's super down to earth and super really cool. Just amazing. He's a legend. Well, I'm sure the movie will do great. That's My Boy is That's the movie. That's My Boy. Uh, we got to talk a little rap. We're about the same age. Yep. I grew up. I, I love all genres of music. We're both 23, I, yeah? Yeah, exactly. There you go. But I did a lot of rapping back in the 80s, uh -oh. back in the day. Let's uh, you well, got anything you can display? Well, no, no, no. I want to talk about you. Freestyle. Though. I mean, you, you've you've got well, I, I, I have many, but no, <laughs> I wasn't a good freestyle. I was good at copying people. Christmas that, that's rapper. not good. Christmas yes. present rapper. Uh, okay. No, no. But um, <laughs> you really have had an in interesting career. I mean, you you were pretty young mm. when when you go number one, um, and. and Vin Ice Ice Baby was was monstrous. Every and what's interesting about that song, you know, some people make fun of it. It, it. It's it's been a joke, but also, it's it's one of the most recognizable rap songs of all time. You know, so it, it's kind of like a blessing and a curse at the same time, right? I mean, you can look at it like that, but you know, I mean, as far as the I, joking, the way kind I of look stuff, at it is you know? is like this. I, I I wrote this song when I was 16 years old. Yeah, and I sold 160 million records. <laughs> uh, still today, the most sold rap record in the history of the world. Yeah, and I'm, you know, I'm still baffled by where the adventure leads, and uh, it's led to, you know, my home renovation show. I never yeah. expected a million years I'd be doing that. Never expected a million years I'd sell that many records. Yeah, and here I am with an Adam Sandler movie, yeah. and it sounds glamorous and cool and all that, but there was some times in there where I had a weekend that lasted a few years. <laughs> right, right. You know, and it was hard to uh, figure out what my purpose in life is and, and, and who I am, you know, uh, yeah. in general, but aside from this larger than life persona. So you think of Britney Spears, she shaves her head. I went out on a binge and just went crazy for a while and had to figure it out. Well, right. I figured it out. Life is about family and friends. Yeah. It's not about fame and money and cars and, and alcohol or anything. And, you know, once I figured it all out, I got my purpose in life and I'm happier than ever. I wouldn't trade my life. I w even though I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy to get here, I wouldn't trade it with anybody now. I'm the happiest guy on the planet and I'm enjoying life to the fullest and uh, totally believe in karma, man. Straight, clean and sober and having a good time with life and raising kids. And, and you did have an, an, an album that came out in August. Yep. New yep. record called WTF, which does not stand for what you're thinking. Get your mind out of the gutter, folks. It yeah. stands for wisdom, tenacity, and focus. And uh, there's no explicit lyrics. It's uh, techno hip hop, and uh, it's doing really well. Um, Talk about the techno thing, kind of coming back a little bit. You I've, know? I've been and living. A, you know, I live. It's a, a fun dance sound. You know, it's right. Just, it, I live part of the year in uh, England. 
yeah. and uh, film film a lot of stuff over there. And uh, you know, uh, I get a lot of influence from over there now uh, that I'm incorporating in the Vanilla Ice Project, the home mm -hmm. renovation show, and also in the music. So it's just a new musical adventure for me, and I'm really enjoying it. You know, because you can't just keep doing the same thing; it gets right. it gets kind of boring. So Got to evolve. It's still rap, hip hop music, but it's more with a you know a dance t techno. Uh, theme to it so it's uh, you know it's very high energy good party dance music all right a little bit more on the the home renovation your home remodel vanilla ice project how'd you get into something like that well I, you know it wasn't put together by the networks you know it was uh, it came together in 18 hours from a phone call to the network um, I basically uh, did a bio for a and &E channel uh, the same company that filmed that bio asked me a question on there says you know what is it that you do that most people wouldn't know about you and I says well probably that I did I do real estate and I've made really good investments and um, you know I didn't end up like MC Hammer or whatever but uh, you know I uh, I did really good with that and then two years later I never changed my phone number I had the same phone number 20 years I got a phone call he says hey it's Matt Levine from you know the same one that filmed the uh, A&E channel so uh, we're thinking about doing a show are you still doing real estate and I says yeah I'm closing on a 7,500 square foot mansion tomorrow that's been completely gutted and raped you know it was uh, setting to rot for three years he goes really can I come in tomorrow and film it I said sure come on in filmed it with, and the next day within 18 hours from that phone call he had the deal wrapped up he goes Rob I just got a call back from the network and says we got a show and I said huh. great that's cool and I still didn't think it would be that great I thought you know who wants to see me put on paint and carpet you know but <laughs> but um, it's fantastic and uh, it's taken on a life of its own and um, during the housing market it's very inspirational and very good to show people that the housing market's coming back and we're American we love to decorate our houses and uh, you can be inspired and get all your ideas and everything right here on this show because we have the latest and greatest on the new modern state-of-the-art technology and homemaking so uh, season two is on right now we won five awards from season one uh, highest nice. rated show on the network and we're very proud of it network again uh, Scripps Network DIY Network uh, yeah. HGTV as well so uh, the show uh, it comes tomorrow night episode four of season two will be tomorrow night at 10 o'clock so make sure you tune on it or creep on it, don't sleep on it. How about that for the rap term? All right, all right, we got, <laughs> it's uh, Vanilla Ice, Rob Van Winkle in the house. I mean, movies, uh, a TV show, uh, records. You say you're a family guy. Yeah. Uh, you're doing it all. Doing it all. You got to make it happen for yourself, man. Yesterday's history, tomorrow's a mystery. If you don't make it happen, you're going to miss it, you know? Uh, turn your negatives into positives like I have in the past. You can't go back and change them, but you can turn them into positives by saying, I'm, I know that path and I don't want to go down that one again. Very good. Instead of going right, you go left or whatever. You are a football fan. I am. Let's let's talk about the Super Bowl for a second. Okay. Are you a fan of either one? Uh, who do you like? You know, uh, you know, I like the Giants. I want the G-Men to win. Okay, I had a dinner with them last week in New York, and they're amazing, great guys. Do I think they're going to win? No. Hmm. The reason why is because I don't think Belichick. Belichick's got to be to me. I think probably the best coach in the business, and. Mm -hmm. I don't feel like he's going to want to get humiliated because he got humiliated so bad by being undefeated all the way to the Super Bowl and getting beat by them, uh, the same team. I feel like he's going to really, they're going to pour their heart out to win this thing. So I'm calling 31-21 Pats, okay? And the reason why I'm doing this is because Vegas, here's a big kicker, though, in this one. Vegas has a better than gut feeling than any guy who thinks they got a gut because they use some sort of, I don't know what it is that they use, but they sure didn't build that place on nothing. Uh, right. And uh, so the statistics say 19 out of 20 they've called those Super Bowls. Yeah. But that one was the same matchup. Yeah. That one was the same matchup that's now. So the G-men can pull it off and be number two. Oh, my God. But this is definitely a great matchup because of what happened the first time around they met. And uh, I can't wait. There's a lot of energy in this room and in the oh, air yeah. and uh, in, here in Indianapolis. And uh, I'm just happy to be here and feed on this energy. It's great. All right. Hey, appreciate it. Vinyl My Ice, pleasure. Rob Van Winkle. Come by Nashville. Stop by and see us sometime. I would love to. Love Nashville. All right. That's my boy is the movie. Yep. When is it at theaters? It's in the theaters on Father's Day. So Sweet. right at yep, the 16th. So Good come on deal. out and get in where you fit in. Enjoy and the, the movie. And the Vanilla Ice Project. Tomorrow Check night. that out. Remodeling. Yep. All right. 10 o'clock. Thank you for buddy. the time. Thanks for having me on your show.